My True Ancestry, Is It Worth It? If you're interested in DNA, ancestry, genealogy videos, or have taken a DNA test yourself, you may have heard of MyTrueAncestry.com. I have an account with them, and I'll show you all the features, and you can decide for yourself if it's worth it. Now, in order to use the site, you have to have already taken a test, at which point you'd upload your raw DNA file so they can process your results. What they do is test your results with ancient human remains found around the world to see if you match. These samples are from dig sites and their DNA has been extracted for study, so the raw samples are available to the public as well online, in academic databases, and in raw format. The site has a lot of features and it's super interesting, so let's go through it. Here are the civilizations they have sampled for and we'll run through them quickly. Australian. Al-Andalus, Alans, Alamani, indigenous peoples of North America, Amorites, ancient Egyptians, ancient Greeks, and many others. I'll just scroll through so we can get to the features of the site a little bit quicker. Okay, so the page with the results on it looks like this. They have categories of the following. Analysis Summary, Maps, Regional Archaeogenetics, Haplogroups, DNA Spotlights, Timelines, PCA Plots, and Genetic Social Groups as well. We'll start at the top with the Summary category. And these are my results and your results may differ. So I have Southern European Ancestry, so this is what I got. Under my closest ancient populations category, I match with Gallo-Roman and Roman Hispania. Divided into more populations, it also shows Etruscan, Illyrians, and Al-Andalus. Below it shows various ancient populations and how distant or close I am a match to them. The lower the number on the right, the closer I match to that said population. Under the ancient sample tab, we get a pie chart of the samples and groups that I share ancestry with. They also have a pie chart that breaks down your matches by era. Under the Matching Samples tab, we can view the closest matches. And at the top, they give you a title based on the location and era in which these ancient peoples were from, your genetic distance to them, as well as how closely you match versus other users of the site. If you press the green-blue dot, you get more info on each match. We also have a tab of the top 10 samples by era. And there's an Outlier tab, which are the most unique samples you share ancestry with. Finally, there's an Americas tab. Next, we have the Deep Dive results, which are matches in which one shares actual DNA with. You can see where the DNA markers match between the sample and yourself, as well as how much DNA you share. Now, this Deep Dive tab gives us a couple of pie charts with the samples you share DNA segments with. Here's a chromosome analysis map showing where you match those samples. This is the spider's breakdown they have which shows how you plot with ancient people you match with. Under the closest genetic modern populations tab, it tells you which peoples you mostly genetically are close to. Now all that was under the first main tab. The second tab is called Maps. It has a general European map with all your matches in the past. There's an Asian map, Africa, America, a premium Europe map, premium Asia, the all your matches, and here's my deep dive Europe with samples I share direct DNA with.
The regional archaeogenetics tab shows your matches through the eras as well as literature to go along with it. Here we have the haplogroup tab, and this is really involved. I mean, the whole site is involved, as you've seen. Here are my Y-DNA matches with this cool interface you can explore. There's also an MT-DNA with the dynamic interface. Here's the Y distribution pie chart, and below we have matching samples as well as royalty that you share the selected haplogroup with. Likewise for the maternal haplogroup. Next we have the DNA Spotlight tab, and here we have interesting samples that they match you with. If you share Ancestry or Direct DNA markers with these Spotlights, then they mark them in green with added info. Here's the last crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England. Here's the French King Louis XVI mystery sample of which I match. Here are samples from the Seventh Crusade of which I match a few nights. This one is from Skeleton Lake. I match a few of these as well. The Carolingian Empire matches. Revolutionary France. Here's my match from Ancient Britain and Stonehenge. There are a few handful of samples and I match the Bowman. Lastly, I match this fellow from Revolutionary France. Here's the Timelines tab. This way you can see where your ancestors, people you share DNA with, were from. They also give you a detailed timeline as well. The yellow boxes are the samples you share direct DNA with, while the others represent your other matches you share ancestry with. So the question is, is my true ancestry worth it? You can decide. I think it has a lot of insightful features and it's a lot of fun too. So, you know, I hope you liked the walkthrough and I'll catch you guys next time.